Tiger Woods, Dustin Johnson and 10 other troubled sports figures Trump likes better than Colin Kaepernick. President Trump began the day after Thanksgiving by asking incredulously whether his 43 million Twitter followers can believe that NFL players who protest racial inequality during the national anthem have not been penalized for doing so. A short time later, Trump announced on Twitter that he would spend part of the day golfing with Tiger Woods, a serial philanderer who entered a DUI diversion program last month, and Dustin Johnson whose six-month hiatus from the PGA Tour to seek professional help for personal challenges in 2014 and 2015 reportedly stemmed from a second positive test for cocaine. The contrast here is striking. Trump displays utter contempt for NFL players whose only crime is following Colin Kaepernick's example by sitting, kneeling or raising fists during the Star Spangled Banner. Yet the president is proud to associate himself with athletes who have allegedly or, in some cases, definitely committed actual crimes, including some rather serious ones. Below, I have listed 10 troubled sports figures whom Trump has praised, despite their actions, besides Woods and Johnson. Agree or disagree with Trump's stance on protests during the anthem, it is worth considering the kind of behavior he seems to find less objectionable. The former heavyweight boxing champion was convicted of rape in 1992. Trump defended Tyson at the time and even seemed to blame the victim, an 18-year-old beauty pageant contestant. You have a young woman that was in his room, his hotel room late in the evening at her own will, Trump told NBC. You have a young woman who was seen the next day dancing for the beauty contest, dancing with a big smile on her face, looked happy as could be. Four years before Tyson's conviction, Knight famously said, I think that if rape is inevitable, relax and enjoy it. Knight was convicted of assaulting a police officer while in Puerto Rico to coach the U.S. basketball team at the 1979 Pan American Games. He was fired by Indiana University in 2000, following the public release of a videotape on which Knight could be seen grabbing a player by the throat during a practice three years earlier. Major League Baseball's all-time hits leader was banned from the sport in 1989 for gambling on games in which he was involved. He pleaded guilty to filing false tax returns in 1990.